Here We Go Digging for Dinosaur Bones by Susan Lendreth. Illustrated, that means he drew the pictures, by Bob Kolar. Look at all these dinosaur bones. Here we go digging for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones, dinosaur bones. Here we go digging for dinosaur bones on a warm and sunny morning. Scientists travel all over the world to places they think have the best chance of finding dinosaur bones and fossils. This is the way we hike the trail, hike the trail, hike the trail. This is the way we hike the trail on a warm and sunny morning. Fossils are the remains of animals and plants that died long ago. Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. They hunt for them in areas where rocks formed long ago. This is the way we scan the ground, scan the ground, scan the ground. This is the way we scan the ground on a warm and sunny morning. This is the way we excavate, excavate, excavate. This is the way we excavate on a warm and sunny morning. When paleontologists find a dinosaur fossil, they dig around it to look for more pieces of the dinosaur. This is the way we sift through dirt, sift through dirt, sift through dirt. This is the way we sift through dirt on a warm and sunny morning. Fossils can be as big as a refrigerator or as small as a grain of sand. To build a dinosaur skeleton, paleontologists want to find every scrap available. They sift through wire screens, they sift the dirt through wire screens to find the teeny tiny bits. This is the way we wrap our finds, wrap our finds, wrap our finds. This is the way we wrap our finds on a warm and sunny morning. This is the way we clean the bones, clean the bones, clean the bones. This is the way we clean the bones on a warm and sunny morning. Back at the lab, scientists and technicians carefully clean each fossil. They use chemicals, chisels, brushes, and picks, just like your dentist uses. This is the way we study bones, study bones, study bones. This is the way we study bones on a warm and sunny morning. This is the way we build T-Rex, build T-Rex, build T-Rex. This is the way we build T-Rex on a warm and sunny morning. Most fossil skeletons are not complete when they're found. Paleontologists figure out what the missing pieces are and they make models of those. This is the way it bears its teeth, bears its teeth, bears its teeth. That means shows its teeth. This is the way it bears its teeth on a warm and sunny morning. T-Rex had more than 50 large teeth in its massive jaws. Some were up to a foot long. That means the size of a ruler, 12 inches. Scientists think it may have had the most powerful bite of any land animal ever. This is what a T-Rex might have looked like. They put the bones together like a puzzle. They added some things on the outside. Now it's ready for the museum. And they're ready for another dinosaur dig. Let's go digging for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones, dinosaur bones. Let's go digging for dinosaur bones on a warm and sunny morning. Fossils can be found in many places and anyone can hunt for them even kids. The end. Today for art, we're going to do a fossil dig. I have this paper here and it has some fossils on it, just some bones, skeletons of some animals, several dinosaurs, that may be a snake or turtle. I also have this plastic baggie. I'm gonna open the baggie. And you might be surprised what I'm gonna put inside. 
shampoo. <laughs> I bought this at the dollar store, but you're not going to need a lot. So maybe you can use a little bit of your shampoo or conditioner. Hand lotion works just fine. You could use some hand soap or hand sanitizer. Anything that's squishy and ooey gooey, even yogurt could work. All right, so what we're going to do is just make some about three big squirts into our baggie. And then I need this to look like dirt, so I'm going to color it brown with paint. You could use brown or black. You could use food coloring and mix all the colors together, and that will give you brown. Or you could just use a little bit of coffee grounds. That could work too to color your lotion or shampoo. All right, so now I'm gonna close up the bag and I'm gonna squish this around to color that shampoo or lotion brown. Just squish it all around to get it mixed. All right, once you get it all mixed up, you're gonna spread the bag back out. Open up the bag, not open it right here, but just like spread it back out like that. And then you're gonna spread the dirt, but really we know it was shampoo. We're gonna spread it out like this. And then we're gonna put it on top of this paper that had the fossils. It doesn't go inside the bag, it goes on top. And we're gonna use our fingers, watch this, and we're going to move, move around the dirt and oh, uncover a fossil. Look at that. All right, let's do it again. We can cover the fossil back up by just moving the dirt right on top of it. Yeah. Like and then we can try to dig for another one. Let's see what else we can find. Look, there's one right there. I found another fossil. Maybe there's one down here, let's see. Oh, I found one, there's one right there. And my hands aren't even getting, getting dirty. That's the cool part. We can dig for dinosaur fossils and not get all muddy and dirty because all the mud and dirt is inside the bag. So have some fun today. That's our art project for today. We did a little fossil dig.